What is going on YouTube? My name is Badum here, and of course we have a uh, Fanta. Say hello. Yeah, that's that's Fanta. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make this video as short as possible just because I want to get straight down to the facts. So, as many of you who have watched my uh, CS:GO unboxing videos know how big of a waste of money they are. <laughs> I've decided to divert my addiction to something else that's actually profitable you're, if you do it right. You're diverting your addiction to opening cases to a gambling problem. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, cases was already sort of gambling, but this is actual gambling. Those so, are um, this is like this is betting. This yeah. Is like the horse track. Kind of. Basically. So, um, if any of you guys are into like the whole skin things of CSGO, you obviously will know about CSGO Lounge and the betting side and the trading side. So, right here is all your upcoming matches. Now, again, I want to make this as brief as I possibly can. So, it's going to be a lot of random teams and a lot of actual like the pro teams. So, usually on the weekends, your best chance because you can actually get some of the well-known matchups. Um, and, of course, so I'll have a bunch of links in the comment section. One in with if you use Google Pro... Google Chrome, which you should, mm -hmm. it's going to be called Lounge Destroyer. And basically what this does, so if this wasn't on, you wouldn't have any of this. You would literally have to click on this shit just to see this shit. Oh, is that, what does that do? What does well, that shit do with the links? Well, like normal, like you can see what people want for their trades. So, like this. Mm -hmm. Of a Jaguar's ass. Okay. Fucking moron. But that's just what people post. The trades are usually awful. I don't mess with the trades. Fuck that. <laughs> um, but Lounge Destroyer does a lot of things. So if you look, for example, over the guns, it'll tell you the actual price of the guns and all the skins themselves, cool. which is really helpful so you don't have to be like, let me click on the market listings and see, oh, okay. Yeah, it's really helpful. It makes things a lot easier. So where's, the, where's the price on the, because it's supposed to pop up? Right here, on the bottom. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's cool. So they're all right there. So overall, you do have all the statistics, basically, like the percentages of what people are betting on. Clearly, the lower the percentages, the more you'll get if you win. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have to take that with a grain of salt. But I do have a couple links here that will help you guys make the best informed decision. Um, as well as I'll show you my bet history so you can sort of see how I'm doing. Ignore this section where I got greedy. and <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. But, like, we go to the last couple games here, and, like, again, with this weekend tournament with the SEVO Season 7 playoff finales, it's been going pretty well. I mean, just some standard. This was an underdog bet. It was, like, 35%, so you win, obviously, a lot more. Um, and then, of course, we'll go over the betting more in detail later. I just really wanted to get this video out to start this series, as well as to go over the bets for tomorrow, i.e. in, like, six hours. Fuck! <laughs> All right. Anyway, so one of the one of the best sites that you're gonna use is called hltv.org, and again, I'll post it in the the link the the link in the description. What is that? Uh, get your knife now. This is just ads. Oh, okay. It's ads that AdBlock doesn't notice. Okay. So ignore the ads. Okay, it's part of the website. So this is gonna have all your upcoming games, and the really most or the most important thing about this is it's gonna have all your player lineups, stats, and as well as like the times that they play to get each other. So, for this game, for example, right now, I think on CSGO Lounge, it's 67% in favor of Navi to, like, 33% in favor of Mouse Sports, and, yeah, just about there. Um, so, the difference in the statistics here is if you, like, look at their last... Everything you have to do is you have to take it with a grain of salt, because obviously nothing's going to be specific. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're watching the LAN, you can know how the teams are playing. Navi are doing all right. Mouse Sports are playing really fucking well. They beat Cloud9, who's been to the last four grand finals, the last four lands. Wow. That's fucking stupid. Um, so they beat them 2-0. Um, Navi's been beat by Virtus Pro, which are a pretty decent team, as well as they were almost beat by T-Storm. I forget what T-Storm stands for, but that was that was really bad so they're playing all right where mouse is playing really good but just because navi is more known this the odds are a little bit better so clearly and if you see here so this is the most important part and obviously it'll show you what your items are worth i started betting with 12 dollars in my inventory <laughs> i've done all right <laughs> i had a lot more but i got greedy and i was a fucking moron it happens but the moral of the story is you have to take it and move on and learn from your mistakes so clearly if i were to bet this right here on Mouse Sports, I'd get $90 if I won. Damn. So it's $60 in skins up for bat, basically. And if I win, I get the 60 back plus an additional 90 Damn. So you really just have to play your odds. 
This yeah, game, though, I, I'm not going to bet this much on this game. Honestly, for this game, I might just place this and a couple, like, shitty skins. Mm -hmm. Just because it could literally go either way. Okay. You sort of have to ignore the percentages at some point and realize this map is literally 50-50, just judging by how they played so far at the event. Okay. So everything's a little bit weirder. Now, there is this site here, which I like to use a lot. The only bad part is it's run by, like, two people, so it doesn't get updated very often. Um, but this will show you very helpful insights, like the game importance and the betting risk. So usually you can take that and see where you can go from there. Oh, excuse me. Beer. Okay. <laughs> um, but obviously, it's really important for, like, best of ones, which is what this game will be, is you have to be super fucking careful. Obviously, with best of ones, is the underdog can come out pretty easily. I mean, just get lucky or, like, their mm -hmm. best map pops up. Um, so usually, like, best of twos or best of threes are going to be your best bet because you can be more safe. Now, for example, if you go look at back at my bet history there, um, there'll be some super safe games. Where is it? Shit. Hold on. It was before I got greedy. Right here. Okay. So, is it going to let me click on the match? That's fucking awesome. Okay, so, obviously 55% to 45%. This was six days ago. But there was this note here where they have a one best of three advantage, meaning... In order for enemy to win, they literally had to win four maps, up to six, basically. Wow. So for that, you can put like a more, or more backed bet on mortality just because they had that advantage. Mm -hmm. Most games aren't going to be set up like that. They're going to be their pr standard start best of three go. Um, now, as far as Virtus Pro and Cloud Nine go, I'm going to be betting on Virtus Pro. They've been playing fucking amazing, and they've made me a lot of money. So <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck not? Whereas Cloud Nine. Again, Laos to Mouse Sports, and just really, like, they've had leads that have been ridiculous. Like, they were playing cash and had a 13-2 to two lead, mm -hmm. and it went into fucking overtime. You can't have a 13-2 to two lead and then go into overtime because you yeah. fucked up that bad. Like, they're having such a hard problem closing out matches at this event. You know, I've noticed, I've noticed that team has actually had that problem, not just with this game. Like, I know it's different teams, but that... No, like, <laughs> it was funny because... Uh, earlier they were playing um, Counter Logic Gaming uh, versus Cloud9, and at the same time, um, Counter Logic Ga Ga Gaming and Cloud9 were facing off in the Halo land that's going on right now. Really? At the same fucking time, so it was pretty funny. Um, the the winner was reversed. Cloud9 won in CSGO, whereas uh, CLG won in Halo. Obviously not important getting derailed here. Um, as far as my bet goes, I haven't decided how much I'm going to bet, but I'm going to bet on Mouse and I'm going to bet on VP. Basically, my thought process is, is whatever I put on Mouse, I'm going to expect to get back from my VP game. So even if I lose one, I'll get it back with the other. Sort of makes sense. It's a little bit iffy. Um, that's just it for this one. And again, I'll post all the links in the uh, description there as well as my Twitter. Yes. Yes. Self-plug. Anyway, sorry, not the point. Um, I'm definitely going to make this a series. I think it's really interesting as well as I want to see how much money I can make you guys. Obviously, starting off for $12 and ending up at 91 right now. Um, and this with is with me taking some skins back into my inventory as well. So overall, let me bring up my inventory here. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm a bad host. <laughs> so bring up your inventory here and seeing like what I've taken back and what I've won. I bet my uh, Hyper Beast and my Op quite a few times. Part of the reason being is I bet on the upper dog where it was like 92% to 8%, and that's me literally just cycling the skins, the the skins, trying to get better looking ones. Don't judge me, okay? I still made like $10 off those petty bets, so get on my level, okay? <laughs> Not the point. And with this video, you can get on at Adam's level here. Literally, like, that's the point. I mean, we wanted to make a series that, because there's one thing of watching someone play video games and trying to learn to be better, um, or watching someone's gambling addiction while opening cases. <laughs> My process is, if you're going to spend $2.50 on a fucking key, I'd rather bet that on a game where I can actually win money instead yep. of getting an 8 cent skin. Yeah. This is and that's how it started way. off, and now I haven't spent any money. I've just been recycling the money I've received and putting it back and getting even more. So, obviously these aren't guaranteed results. I'm not going to guarantee jack shit. So everything with a grain of salt. I'm just going to be showing what I'm betting on, and I'll show the results uh, tomorrow as everything goes. I, I kind of want to make this like a daily or like every other day type update thing. That way you guys can follow along and if we win, we win together. If we lose, you suck. <laughs> no, we'll lose together too. 
we'll just make it a thing and again I'll post all these links so it'll make it really simple for you guys no nope, no razor ad I'm sorry um, let me just bring you to the home page of HLTV you fucking shit no it's like okay here it is so this will also give you all the updated news that's going on within the pro scene counter strikes really getting it's ex ex exploding at the moment so there's a lot to keep track of a lot of new teams and it's really international like I know if any of you guys watch Call of Duty you basically have North America and a little bit of like England that's about it mm -hmm. everywhere else they're just jack awful and whereas this is it's really a lot of European teams but you have some American teams so again I'll be updating everything for you for now though I just wanted to touch base let you know um, I'm putting my cards in Mao's and VP check my Twitter out and I'll update everything as we go there um, but other than that guys that's gonna be do it for this video check out all the links below as well as Lions Destroyer so you can get everything I really didn't go over the details Lions Destroyer brought up those prices and as well as the bots can be kind of a little bitch in this game and not by this game but the site so let me just touch up on this because it's really important so without lounge destroyer and I try to click on this and hit request return it would basically if it didn't work the first time you'd have to click this little yes or no button to retry and then click it again so lounge destroyer takes that out of the equation and just does this and I don't want this skin back right now fuck and it's gonna pop it back into my inventory that's basically it um, other than that guys the, guy, the site is obviously super safe nothing to worry about there um, and that's going to be it for this video. We'll be doing a follow-up uh, either tomorrow or the day after, so definitely keep up. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more of these. And uh, that's it for us. Say goodbye, Fanta. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye.